Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and we're going to be continuing to catch up on K-pop releases that I haven't been able to check out yet because I was moving for the past few weeks, had a lot of stuff to do, could record for a while and the one I'm honestly the most excited about to finally check out is one of my favorite girl groups and a favorite artist overall. Itzy had their final comic of 2022 with their sixth mini album. I have honestly no idea how to pronounce that word. Cheshire? Cheshire? I honestly don't know. I've never read that word before. Um, it's actually a mini album this time. Yeah, only four songs overall. And we already know one on that album, which was Boys Like You. You know, the previously single, which we checked out as well. So that only leaves us with three new songs. Um, and we're going to be checking them all out in this video. It means we're first going to be checking out the music video. That's the same name. And then the two B-sides. So... Yeah, I've already seen very few short clips and loops on uh, Twitter, they've been looking insane. Actually, don't think I've really catched anything from the song itself yet, so let's check it out. Very excited, okay? I was honestly I was honestly a fan of Sneakers, okay? I honestly he have yet to understand why people dislike that song so much. Like it's obviously not as good as Not Shy or Wannabe or something, right? But I thought it was still a fun song, so Excited to see what the song will be or what the song has up in their sleeves. So let's check it out. It's a. I will. I hope they say the word. <laughs> I hope they say it. Oh, and I've seen this a lot, but oh, the yeah, she's specials, man. My girl with the dartboard got mine right next to me. Ooh. That look on Ria shit is sick, but... Hey! Wow, Yuna's makeup! Cha Ryong as well! Man, they all look incredible, but... This is way more chill and low-key! Oh, wow! Yeah, this is way more... Oh! Having the verses be so chill and low key. Ooh. The chorus is so. Oh, this time Yuna with the. You know? After Cat Goyeji. Ooh, the editing is so cool. Like we did one transition there with Yuna too. That's really cool. They, they do. Oh, the white outfits too. Oh, the Yuna hair. But like we have such a lower tone in the verse picture, so to then go. Belting like that in the chorus is just... That's what I saw, I can't even do it because... Oh, that lip ring. Oh my god, the close-ups. Ooh! Why so serious? K-pop and the Lala Lasto. Oh, that's so cool. With a few magic tricks in there. This part is so fun, though. It's like mentioned, I'm way too clanky with my hands to do that, but... I mean, that's it's in general. They have so many iconic hand signature choreos, but... And yeah, I think it was actually a bit of a magic show concept, right? Like, entertainment show. That makes sense. The cat there too, yeah, yeah, with the black cat. But it didn't say the word, I don't want to pronounce the title. Cheshire, it's... I, I have actually no idea about the about the word at all. I, I, wait, what is it actually? I feel like it would make sense to Google that. Maybe, maybe this will actually give me a bit more of a context. But that song was fire. 
it it once again i feel like it sees always this is one of those groups that always manages to do something fresh and new for them yet still make it feel like them right to always try out new things without losing their signature sound and signature charisma and you know a county in northwest england really don't think i don't think that's what it's supposed to be wait Ch Chesh wait cat alice wonderland mischievous grin oh that makes that makes sense you know we had the wiser series grin and that actually co also combined combined with joker you know the wiser is that the, is that the idea you know shesh arcade wiser series the smile from the cat which which fits with the joker i think is is that what we're going for probably maybe gladly claim me up okay obviously concepts are always something that you may be able to um you know the cipher and see straight away or sometimes uh, you need a bit of time for it that's always cool right if we have some if we have concepts in general like actually every it's a tetric that's why they very very um um it was very very concept filled and i think that's always something really cool you know no um release fields uh similar or like mentioned um the same that's why I lost so much about it see every new release is something new and refreshing without them losing their signature energy and that's the same for this song okay i would just say i hope it's i hope it's okay right again what i love so much about this is how the verses and just the general First half of the song, everything besides the chorus basically feels so chill and in some way even not necessarily relaxing, but the entire delivery feels so laid back and not even arrogant, but like there's something really cool about the lower register here, right? They're just chilling basically over over the beat. There's not a lot of energy involved yet. You know that the beat is also very fresh, bit of a hip hop influence little piano in the back never mind oh she even says this here okay like the okay okay but she did she said the word chesha chesha what chesha i guess that's what we pronounce but okay it's actually about the entire cat thing and then this entire magic show entertainment show concept also actually makes sense okay Visually, by the way, though, all the close-ups, the makeup, the styling of this, wow. Okay, this one here especially is so, so cool. The outfits, once again, it's, it's just a visual group all the way through, right? And their music videos are always a highlight for me, and this is the same case here, right? Like, the, the sets actually aren't as huge as the previous titles, like Loco or uh, Wannabe or Not Shy's example, right? The music video is a bit more... Um, green screen you know but um so very fun and entertaining to watch all the way through but yeah like mentioned we have a very chill delivery for the verse picture and then we go booming into that chorus this transition though the way we you know go from leah into yuna you know with a classic you know then wiping off the makeup like that really cool but then like mentioned the way the chorus kicks in here is mm. but, man we get chance delivery all the time but the powerful higher register here is so nice it's such a strong standout chorus, right? Like, we've had so many Itzy songs before where the chorus and the verse just have a similar energy where the entire song is basically very explosive and very powerful. So to really have the chorus sound be this distinguished, 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 different to the verse sound is really cool and really, really just makes it pop so much, right? It's just this, this boom moment where the song really explodes. And that's really, really nice. Jerry on with the Oh. But reach in slower. Mm. So. Ah. But yeah, this first picture is so nice. I think this is a pre chorus actually. The pre chorus situation is very soft, though, if barely noticeable.
this this gritty EDM bass in the back is ah, uh, it's buzzing so much. But K-pop and their la la las, no meaning behind it. It just sounds great. But yet she. Like the la 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 is actually majority of the bridge, but like even the power of the bridge is so so sick. And yeah, he had the magic trick as well. Ooh, the little say right? Awesome high note. Oh, but again, can we can we talk about this? Re this Ryujin look, oh, short hair Ryujin is just always a cultural reset and it was really cool to see her bring it back and for it to make it into a comeback. I mean, that's what we all wanted, right? This, oh, this styling, this is once again absolute top tier. But yeah, this song is really fun. Really short though. Obviously the ending post, but that's the thing, the song goes just around the 3 minute mark, which has become a bit of a, not necessarily a trend, but like, a lot of K-pop songs tend to end in such, or just generally songs uh, tend up to end before the 3 minute mark, or just shortly around it, because it like, is apparently what studies show the, the best uh, time for streaming and whatnot, you know, to keep the, the, the listener, um, on the most listens basically um but it doesn't feel too short or like it lacks something because again making the chorus stand out that much in the sound delivery just makes it feel that much more satisfying right just makes it feel so rewarding to listen to and so fulfilling to listen to so once you finish listening to the song yet the incredible verse picture the very very different and powerful chorus sound yet this very catchy la 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 section the powerful bridge then it cool ending section as well I have nothing to complain about. Okay, the music video is fun, the concept is fun and interesting, the, the styling was 10 out of 10 as always. The song is really cool too, once again, and very different compared to the previous tire tracks yet once again so so itzy. It is. Okay. I think it was also very well received actually by the community for what I had seen. Very happy to have finally checked it out. I'm a fan. I enjoyed that. Really, really cool. We now have two more B-sides to check out as well. The first one being Snowy. I guess it's going to be a holiday themed song. At least that's what Snowy gives me. That's the vibes what it gives me. But it was actually released in November, like the album. So, best way to find it out is by watching it slash listening to it. So, let's check it out. Second song of the very short mini album. Snowy. I it's see. Hey. Opening with the belts and now the very buzzy and boom and bass. Oh, love to see Hachi. Section though. Mm. Don't be scary, don't be scary. Love to see Hachi and Leah section, the back to backs. Oh. It doesn't feel holiday at all, but still cold in some way, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's a very simple chorus. What's it? Wait, what's that entire chorus? Must be second half to it, right? Oh, that's cool. First Leon reaching, now Yechi and Ryuchin with these very, you know, back to back flows. And Ryuchin singing though. Nice. Now Leo does pre-chorus. Okay, I like the the distribution of the song. 
very excitingly written with the way the members change. That's catchy though. This don't you want to be the star of my own show? Okay, now it just repeats. I mean, that's very simple, you know. In the song, though. Oh, I can both here. Uh. Here we go. That's the full chorus. Or, no, we had the lyrics before, but now in a much more full fledged way. Or? Obviously, he's the thing, right? I said it with the la 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 and just a few moments ago with the tie track. Stuff like la la la, na na na, oh oh oh, stuff like that, right? It always feels in some way not necessarily lazy, but it's obviously very simple songwriting because it's just there's no real meaning behind it. The only thing that this is supposed to do, the only thing that this is supposed to achieve is that it sounds good. It's catchy, it's very easy to sing along, everybody can do it. It's basically the type of stuff that you like. You have the bass, you have the verses, you have like, okay, you have a cool basic melody. Uh, boom. And just throw it in and finish a song like that, right? It just always feels a bit, you know, it's like, make, it's like they're making themselves too easy. It's obviously fun, even though I don't understand why we only did like one part of it in the first chorus. It makes like the build up to the first chorus very, very... I don't know, like, we have such a, like, it, how long is it? An entire minute? The first na-na-na? Or where is it? Where's, wait, what? Here? But yeah, this, this Don't You Wanna Be The Star Of My Own Show, I think, was a first a pre-chorus and later became a chorus. That's really cool, though. Like, the, the sound delivery is obviously very, very different. But yeah, it, we, it, it nearly takes... The song is less than three minutes long. It takes nearly one minute to get to the first chorus, and then it's just a one singular na 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 line. So it's not even like a repeated one. So you have this um, satisfying, you know, back to back flow or like two sections. You know, usually chorus is either if it's a short one, we do two sections or like two melody blocks and then repeat it afterwards, right? To do a different melody block there. Here we only have one. And that's a bit, uh, I don't know, you know. Such a long build up to such a uh, simple chorus that then, like, the, the chorus really isn't the main part of the song, but it actually is because later on, when we then do repeat it twice, it becomes very, very, um, you know, like very forefront. It's supposed to be that catchy part of the song. I don't know, Snow on First Listen feels both weird yet good. Like, I enjoyed it. Like, like, I don't dislike it, right? Don't get me wrong, but like, the song writing decisions here feel a bit. I don't know, weird or a bit unusual, but that's sometimes a good thing, right? Maybe that's exactly why this song will maybe be stuck in my head at one point, right? That it will be just singing the na 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 part um, out of nowhere, or that this will be the most exciting part of the song on re-listens. Something time will show. On first listen, Snowy has lots of good things, lots of enjoyable things, but like mentioned, also things. I don't know. A bit made too simple, a bit made too, you know, too... Um, I don't know, I feel like with a more fuller chorus this could have been cooler because I really enjoyed the first picture, okay? The, the Leah Ryuchin flow back to back, then with Yenchi and Ryuchin, the pre-chorus is really, really nice. It kind of feels like the chorus just makes the song... It like... I wouldn't say the way it's potentially that sounds so mean in some way, right? But like, I feel like with a different chorus, with a more fuller chorus, with a more... Like, the na-na-na part is really cool, right? First to a fuller first half, and then do the na-na-na as a second section. Or like, first to... Full melody, full melody, na 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 na, and then like an outro line or something, right? I feel like the chorus just could have been way, way more than we what we got here. Snowy is so fun, it would still be listened to, but I feel like the chorus definitely could have been done in a different way to make the song feel fuller. Okay, I think Shashara, the title track, again, I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's, I think, around the same length, but feels much more satisfying to listen to. 
than snowy does. Yeah, I think that's a fair thing to say. Nonetheless, snowy is still enjoyable. Okay, I still enjoy a lot of things within it, and I'm excited to see how I feel about it on re listens. Anyways, enough time spent on this song. One more to go through, and that is freaky. Okay, that definitely sounds something more like it's again. Snowy was how would you categorize Snowy? It was definitely not a holiday song at all, um, but also not your, your classic Itzy B side either, actually. So, you know, Freaky does definitely sound more like Itzy just by the title. So, let's wrap up this very, very short mini album. Okay, we had the tire track, we had the Boys Like You song, now Snowy. Let's wrap things up with Freaky. Huh? Oh, that's a very nice speed picture. Oh, the edgy with the dual delivery. Oh, but the speed picture is so nice. Oh, two songs in a in a row. We got Rietchi with Lee and Yachi, but Shay's voice. Yuna's voice. <laughs> the, the honking noises. Oh, it's this little whistle there. This. Mm. Oh, that was so nice. The Jet Leah line. Into a very very smooth transition to Rio Chin. This is like a smooth hip hop song. Like the, the bass is very hip hop, but it's like not really loud or you know. It's like a ch chill, relaxing hip hop vibe. He's sections with Riachin and the others. First Riachin with Yachi, then Lia, then Shay, maybe number with Yuna too. Mm, this I'm in my zone, just leave me alone. Riachin's lines this year, they look like your mommy cry baby. <laughs> oh, I'm give you another Riachin as well. Oh! You know that feeling when you listen to a song and after one listen you already know you already know that you're gonna be obsessed with it for for a while because this is the case here. Even be like midway through I was really thinking, oh my god, this is Oh oh I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this and the moment the the, the final section of the song kicked in with the um Harmonies with all five together. That's where I knew. Okay, we we got a personal favorite here. Upon first listen, I would easily consider Freaky one of my favorite Itzy B sides. This is like so cool because again, um, there's a very clear hip hop influence and just general flavor to it, like in the way the tempo is, right? But it doesn't really feel like your classical hip hop song because many hip hop songs also like even hip hop songs that Itzy did before are rather you know loud and powerful and fast as well right and why even the the bass tempo here is actually fast in some way the song never really feels too fast or like it oh just 
I don't know, it's, it's too too energetic, it's a very chill, leaning back vibe, the type of song you can either really focus on or just let play in the background, and I think that's always something really nice to have, where you can either really just say, okay, I really focus on it, on the melody, on the on the lines and everything, or just let it be in the background while I focus on something else, songs like these are really, really nice, you know? Vocally, this was so nice. Delivery-wise, this was so nice. We had so many little duo moments where Ryujin sings with Yeji or with Lia, or Lia with Yeji or Ryujin with Cheryong. Would have loved to see Ryujin with Yuna as well because then we would have had the, the full thing complete, you know, where she sings with everybody here like this. But like, this entire flow and beat production is so nice. It's so enjoyable. It's so... It's both catchy yet relaxing. It exciting, it's just so much good in the flow is so cool. The pre-chorus is nice. It's a short one, but very enjoyable on point. Just generally the The little whistling. There's something very bright and healing about the about the beat without being too soft. Like it's not a ballad, you know? It's more of a chill pop? Can you call it that? Chill pop? Mmm, did you did giggle actually? That transition is so clean. The transition from the chorus into the second verse is so nice. Ooh. And this slow you very in as well, with a classic signature voice delivery right, with her, with her signature swag. Oh yeah, this pre-course is with Shade Balia, this hey that, hey that. So nice. That little break there too in the beat where we let the, you know, for like one second. I'm in my zone, just leave me alone. Then taking out the bass entirely and we let the voice shine for a moment. Bring it back. Yeah, she's high register. And the thing is, you would think it ends here already. But it doesn't. Because we do the third chorus. Great back on vocals too. And then... Also drowning out the sound entirely there for that final line. Ooh. This is the one. This is the one 100%. Okay. That is so good. Ooh, that's that's such an instant earworm. That's such an instant favorite of mine. That's so good. Because again, after the third chorus finishes, we're less than 2.30, right? Or just at around 2.30. And the song would have actually already felt totally satisfying if we end it there which is very short you know something like shoot shoot is also one of those perfect examples for a short song because the song is really short and you feel it as well when you listen to it a lot because you know it just repeats it quickly but it's so full still like it's a very short song but very full and very satisfying and freaky even without that ending part would have been that satisfying and full but that ending section, that ending chorus just adds so much to it and really, really wraps it up or like basically evaluates it from really good to perfect. Okay. Easily one of my favorite it's besides upon first freaking listen slash two lists now, you know. So so good. Maybe even my why is my bunny making much noise in the living room? But like maybe even my favorite it's song of 2022.
I just want to put my so much less right now, but, but yeah, Freaky is incredible. Okay, my personal highlight of this album, maybe even of the entire year, 100% one of my favorite ATP sites. It once again feels so itzy because of them, right? Like, no matter what sound direction they go for, every voice in itzy just is so, so, you know, it's just so their own thing. And you just listen to them and you just know it's them, right? You listen to an itzy song just straight away, be like... Feel like it's them because they're just that recognizable and that is what freaky is and it once again is so different to their previous songs and it's just so so enjoyable in what it's doing like mentioned a chill pop song basically or like a chill hip-hop song so so nice okay great wrap up to it's his sixth mini album definitely mini this time around only four songs but like mentioned we had the we had um checkmate earlier this year as well so honestly a great tutorial to for itzy okay i think it was very very enjoyable uh i did see like we can see a lot of people say uh it's it felt out and uh the releases here were bad or whatnot i personally can't agree with that right i personally think that the releases here were really really nice all the way through and i'm very very excited to see what 2023 has in store for them what what anniversary will it be for them the fourth one wait did they debut in 2019 2019 yeah, yeah they debuted in 2019 so it will be there um so they will finish their wait. 20, 22. It will be the. Will it be the fourth year? The fourth year. It will be the fourth year. <sighs> math and math early in the morning. I shouldn't be doing that. But <laughs> but yeah. Great wrap up to today's video. I had a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed it a lot. And I enjoyed my last thoughts. If you did, leave a like down below to show me that you did. Your thoughts on all the songs we checked out here today down below as well. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, gladly is it would help me a lot we still have to i actually don't even know why i didn't um upload it during my hiatus because like i mentioned i couldn't uh, record and upload anything for like three to four weeks so why i didn't take the time to finally upload the older it's the other reactions i still have on my hard drive i have no idea something i definitely still should do okay um from their I think second and uh, no from the third and fourth mini album you know the one with not shy and would want to be so that's something you can look forward to, like many, many other it's a reaction, many, many other reactions. So for whatever content you may be interested in, for whatever content you may be interested in, for hope to see you again soon on this channel. Be safe, have been happy, have a great time, have a great remaining week, a wonderful weekend, and see you again soon. Remember, it's a another case. Thank you so much for watching.